what is up guys um this is gonna be a quick tutorial um i'm just making this for my fans that wanted me to make a tutorial on how to update their rust servers and the hurt world servers etc um this is mainly for rust but the same concept works all you got to do is change the id um basically this is going to be an easy quick tutorial um let's say you just want to update your server instead of going into the steam steam cmd every time and typing all of this out every time um, I'm, there's just a quick little, uh, <coughs> guide here, um, that you can use. You just want to copy all of this. Let me go ahead and I'll show you guys what I mean. <coughs> so here's my virtual, uh, server that I have. And I'm going to be, the reason, in case you're wondering why I'm using my header setup, it's to hide my IP so you guys don't know what my IP is. Um, <coughs> but either way, it's whatever. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be putting a uh, new folder here and or actually sorry uh, we're gonna be deleting that we're gonna be putting a new right click slash new and we're gonna do a text document we're gonna go ahead do uh, update server and then we're gonna go ahead and open this and we're just gonna paste this whole thing out um, <clears throat> and make sure everything is correct so basically what it alright so for this first part this is where it's locating your steam CMD so you want to go ahead and make sure you have like, um, oops. You want to go ahead and make sure you have some sort a, of a, uh, uh, okay, how can I, there we go. Alright, so basically I have my Steam CMD in my C and then my Steam CMD, all caps, and then my Steam CMD, all lowercase, dot exe. So basically what I would do is um, and I would change this to Steam CMD all caps because that's what it looks like <coughs> in the folder and then the Steam CMD.exe is lowercase so you always just want to make it uh, exactly correct. <coughs> then right here is where it finds your Rust server. So we're going to go ahead and check where my Rust server is installed. So this is where I have my latest version of my Rust server installed so as you can see local to see your Rust server latest. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put where it says C uh, Rust Server Latest. And that is pretty much all you have to do. Um, do not mess with any of the other changes. Um, let's say you're doing a Hurt World server or other some other type of server that uses Steam CMD. It's the same exact thing except you would just change the where it says app underscore update with this number. You would change this number to whatever the ID of your game is. If you don't know, you can look on plenty of websites. Just look up... Uh, <clears throat> just look up like how to host a server for that game um, and then there's probably a big tutorial list and just look all you got to do is look for where it says app underscore update and it'll have its own ID you copy that and just replace it with this so <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what to do next is uh, you want to go to file and you want to go ahead and save as and you want to go to all, click all files and you want to change from where it says dot text erase that and put dot batch or bat yeah dot bat it should save there it is so it changed the file formats um we can go ahead and close this and we're going to go ahead and drag this into our rust server so we're going to go ahead and open this check it and make sure it works it's connecting to steam it's updating the server and there we go that's all we had to do nothing else that's pretty much it um if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and um let's say you're if you guys haven't checked out my new uh, setup video, definitely check that out. It's uh, me celebrating my 1,000 subscribers. You guys voted, and that's what you guys wanted, so I did the setup video. If you guys did enjoy that, leave a like, and if you did enjoy this video, leave a like. And if I did help you, be sure to subscribe, etc., and I'm pretty much done here. <laughs> um, <coughs> if this did help you, though, um, just let me know in the comments. Um, I do want to make sure that I help everyone that I can, and as much as I can. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.